1,000 pounds of coho salmon for our dogs. So awesome. Okay, we are here in Valdez, Alaska, and we, are, we just picked up 2,000 pounds of coho salmon. Such a blessing for our dogs. And now we're gonna head on back and process the fish and get it ready for uh, being able to hand out to the dogs easily, um, which can be tricky sometimes with these nice fresh fish, uh, figuring out those systems. So uh, we're looking forward to doing that as a family. Okay, well, we're headed back to base camp. We've got uh, a chance to stop in and chat with, with some uh, dear friends here in Valdez. I uh, love it here in Valdez. It's always great to pop in. Uh, we, we definitely want to spend more time here. We always do. And then uh, we just get back to work and all that. So headed back up to get to work, dry the fish, um, get them frozen for the winter. That way the dogs are set and dialed for a really big winter. We've got some major things uh, to release, but we're working out at the final kinks, final details, as we roll out this next chapter um, at Base Camp Alaska with our uh, Inuit sled dogs. Thinking. We're just gonna go for a swim real quick. Okay, so that's, well, what, what are we doing? I mean, what's the point so here? We're going over there to get willows in the canoe, um, but there's a lot of ice, and, and then there's just not ice, and then there is ice. So you, when, I could do it by myself, and she, could, she might be able to do it by herself, but going off of a, of a ledge of ice into the water and it was kind of tippy. So it could be cold. <laughs> so we didn't like this this spot because there's ice on one side and ice on the other. Um, so we found a better one uh, further up where it's just rock and rock. So we're still gonna use the canoe to get across. That's the plan. Okay, we've been looking at the options here and we don't love, I mean, this is really shallow water here, but there's a lot of current and then it gets deeper down here. And so if you did go in, 
you could go underneath the ice and that'd be a really bad deal. That would be the end of your uh, the end of your journey <coughs> in the existential sense. Um, so what we're gonna do here, kids are going to uh, calmly paddle up across. Um, I guess we're about here. Calmly paddle up there, break a little of the ice, and that way, if the worst case happens uh, here, the worst case is just slip down into the shallow water, and then they can just put a foot out, and no big deal there. I've got throw bag. I can wait out and grab anybody if I need to. So they'll push out into the calm, break the ice, and go to the rocks. And if that doesn't work, um, they'll come down to the shallow, and they'll get out here in the shallow water. So uh, a little risk mitigation there uh, to keep keep the adventures going. What do we think? It's just, yeah. Got it. Right. Stable, stable, low and slow. Stable, stable, low and slow. You're against the... I don't know how thick those ice chunks are, so... Okay, we got a first layer of fish down inside uh, what will eventually be the sauna. Um, <laughs> was gonna be um, a smoker. Now it's gonna be a sauna, but for now it's going to be the fish dry freezer, freeze dryer. Kids are about to head back across and now we need, we need the willows to lay in between so that the layers don't freeze together, the fish don't freeze together. So the layers will provide us something that we can separate uh, the skins of the fish and give a good firm whack to separate them once they're frozen. This is our third year trying different setups to to gather fish and hopefully this is the one, gather fish and separate them effectively. We've tried them in freezers, chest freezers, and that has been uh, a bit of a nightmare to get them back out of the freezers, so hopefully this works.
All right, you gotta hold us on the ice. With anything you got that's ice, hold on, hang. All right, our center of gravity is hopefully just fine. Um, let's do our best to keep as low as possible. Just make it out alive. Maybe. Never know. We got the sticks across. Um, now it's time to head over and take them to the fish. salmon prepare or having it set out for freeze drying um, in our our smokehouse that's in, in the making here and discovered that it wasn't going to quite work layering it in there and so we came up with this new idea of um, using the willows and some fencing so we can separate the fish and they can freeze and then we can break them up for storage so let's get started you guys Guys, I'm gonna grab them by the gills here. <laughs> nice job, Wills. <laughs> This one's a male because of his hook nose. down to Valdez and we picked, we brought a bunch of coolers. Cutting the tip. 
tip so we don't run along it and then just have a whole bunch of salmon fall off. So today we have been working on fish over there and we are going to be working a lot and there is one ton of fish over there. It's a lot. My mom and them like to joke about um, this is a ton of fish and because it's one exactly one ton. So let me take you on over to the family. As I told you, this was the, like the branches on it. Look at that big, big hook. And so now I'm gonna walk back to the fire and sit down. Yeah. Look at me, pup. Look at me. Look at that little puppy. Look at that. Yeah. Nice day. It's cold. Snow. It's actually cold. I'm in my snowsuit. I got the wood and I bring it over to the fire. Here we go! Fun, fun, fun. Hanging out with family. Got some flame in there. Yay! Throw some of that. Okay. So I'm going to get this. Burn it will. Mm. Grab this. Snap That. Yeah. Fish. Out here is that, first of all, this is incredible. Um, not only the, the mountains and just the natural resource of the place, but the structures out here and the boats and the processes that go on out here, they're so big and there's so much of, of things that seem so huge. And really, to me, the big thing is my family, being able to provide for my family and our animals in a healthy, good way. And this huge thing right here, the wilderness piece and the industrial piece, are all part of that. 